Ectopic pregnancy means the presence of pregnancy outside the uterus. It can be at various locations, <clears throat> most commonly being the fallopian tube, but it can also be present in the cervix, in the ovary, anywhere in the abdomen. Today in this video, I, Dr. Neha Lala, your gynec expert at Prime Hospital, Dubai, will be discussing about tubal ectopic pregnancy, that means the presence of ectopic pregnancy in the fallopian tubes. We will be discussing about why it happens, what is the cause, what are the symptoms and signs, and most importantly, what are the treatment options available. A female egg and a male sperm meet or fertilize each other in the fallopian tube and then on the fifth day travel from the fallopian tube to the uterus and get implanted in the uterus. That is when you miss your period and the urine pregnancy test comes positive. However, in some patients for various reasons which we will be discussing later in this video, the embryo doesn't travel to the uterus or get implanted in the uterus, however it continues to grow in the fallopian tube. But the fallopian tube doesn't have the capacity to continue a pregnancy and continue it for the entire length of the pregnancy and hence these pregnancies have to be removed or terminated otherwise they can have disastrous consequences on your health. What are the reasons why ectopic occur? Does, do they occur to everyone? No. There are certain patients who are at higher risk of having ectopic, the ones which have previous uh, pelvic infections, sexu especially sexually transmitted ones, the ones who have had any previous tubal surgery such as family planning surgery, tubectomy or reversal of family planning that is known as tubal recanalization surgery are at higher risk of ectopic pregnancies. Previous ectopic pregnancy which has been treated with medicine or surgery in which the only the ectopic pregnancy has been removed and the tube has been left behind have 10 to 15 percent risk of having ectopic in the next uh, pregnancy. Also patients who have been undergoing IVF or any other fertility treatment are at higher risk of having ectopic pregnancies. Uh, women who get pregnant because of uh, with IUDs or intrauterine device or copper tea have higher chances of uh, getting an ectopic pregnancy. Also smoking and age about 35 is uh, having higher risk of ectopic pregnancies. Are the symptoms and signs different from normal pregnancy? Most of the patients do not have any other symptoms than missed period and uh, nausea. However, some patients do not even miss their period. They continue to have a light bleeding on the period date or they have spotting which is on the similar date of their period and they miss, uh, do not diagnose that they are pregnant. Some patients may have lower abdominal pain uh, or pain on one side of the abdomen. However, the diagnosis can be done on an ultrasound and blood pregnancy level which is known as beta HCG. Ultrasound will help to diagnose that the pregnancy is not in the uterus and is in the site elsewhere from the uterus. However, sometimes the gynecologist may keep you on follow-up till it is clearly defined that there is no pregnancy in the uterus and the pregnancy is out of the uterus. In that case, then we come to the treatment. Once it is diagnosed that you have an ectopic pregnancy, it is necessary to get it treated or else it can, you can come or land up in an emergency situation with a ruptured tubal ectopic pregnancy. What are the patients who can undergo medical management or surgical management? Once the ectopic is confirmed, then the treatment is either medical or surgical. Medical treatment is in the form of an injection called methotrexate which stops the cells from growing and kills the existing cells. This injection has to be given in the hospital and you are kept under observation for a day. Who are the patients who are suitable? Injection can be given to the patients who are stable. That means their pulse, BP, all vitals are stable. The patients who have a small sac size, pregnancy less than six weeks, not a live uh, ectopic pregnancy, beta HCG is less than 4500 and willing to follow up. Once the injection is given, you have to come back on the 4th and the 7th day. On the 4th day, the beta HCG is repeated, it may rise a bit. However, by day 7, there should be a 15% drop in the beta HCG. If the beta HCG doesn't drop by 15%, that means there is failure of medical uh, management and an ultrasound is repeated and depending on your gynecologist and your clinical status either a second dose of injection methotrexate is given or surgery is offered. Surgery is in the form of laparoscopy wherein the 
ectopic pregnancy along with the fallopian tube is removed who are the patients who surgery is the first line of treatment surgery is considered as the first line of treatment in the ones who have ruptured tubal ectopic ruptured means that the fallopian tube in which the pregnancy remained are ruptured inside and blood has collected in the abdomen these patients are not hemodynamically stable that means that they have higher pulse they uh, have either heavier bleeding or fainting attacks or severe pain in the abdomen patients in whom beta hcg is high like above 4500 in whom there is a live ectopic pregnancy and the sac size is low in them surgery is offered can you get pregnant after an ectopic pregnancy of course you can you have to wait for 2 months to get pregnant in case laparoscopy was done for the ectopic pregnancy however if you have taken injection methotrexate then it is better to wait for 3 months after the injection or wait for three periods after the injection and then try to get pregnant always consult your gynecologist before trying to get pregnant if you like this video and are interested in seeing more videos of this type please subscribe to our channel thank you